All right, we're recording. Hello, everybody. I am user slash boygoes here, and this is my uh, call to action kind of video. Um, I'm going to be recording this today with the hopes that this somehow gets to another realm because I have been seeing so many posts in our subreddit lately about um, disappointments with legendary gear and disappointments with a couple of the things that were said in the live stream. Now, I want to go on record to say that Tyler Lansdowne works incredibly hard. And I think that is more than evident. You know, uh, Steve, all the devs at, at NetherRealm work their, you know, they work their ass off for us. And I think that that is awesome. I think that that, I mean, I don't know, I don't know how else to put it. I mean, they are huge fans of the source material and huge fans of the game and they're all good at the game and they all want this game to last for a really long time. And so I think that if we put our suggestions and not complaints into a well-organized format that they can find, um, I think that it would be easier. So I kind of, I've just been browsing through the Reddit. I mean, I'm very active on the subreddit, but uh, I've just been kind of looking through all the suggestions and ideas. And I think what our general consensus here is about two different things. So um, the first thing is legendary gear. And so uh, here's a little tidbit of what they said on a live stream about legendary gear. Mathematically figures out the quickest way yep. and the best way. And I've seen, you told me yesterday that like, it's going to take a while for some of these. And that's good. Yeah. That's the point of them. Yeah. But not, not a year. No. But yeah, yeah, sometime. But there's going to be somebody who just like is going to tweet me in two days and be like, cool, got Bane. That's yep. awesome. <laughs> yeah, me and my friends, we just we just rotated 24 right. hours a day. So. Yeah, it's awesome. I Whoever, the race for Wonder Woman, tweet me. I, w I want that tweet that I just got Wonder Woman's sword and shield. Yep. And now I know a lot of people are going to be thinking, you know, uh, those requirements are ridiculous. Now, looking through the requirements, and I don't know if I'm going to have gameplay up on the screen or not, a lot of them are grindy. And that kind of stinks, um, but at the same time, it does promote longevity, and it really does kind of make you, you know, focus in on a main, on a specific character. And by the time that you finish it, you'll probably have mastered the um, the art of that character. You know, you'll probably have, and I think that that's the objective with Legendary Gear, and I think that that will accomplish that. So um, the couple, the couple of things that I that I saw and that I really very much agree with were uh, drop and uh, the change or dropping or changing the epic gear sacrifice. Now I know a lot of people. I mean, I was I really only have made an attempt at all on Batman's. Everybody else's I've not even touched yet. But sacrificing 250 epic gear pieces for one character is insane for one piece of gear. And I get that these are legendary gear. But at the same time, so to put this in perspective, I I have maybe 40, 50 pieces of epic gear for Batman. I have been playing him as like my my third most played character since launch, since May. I, there's no way, and I wouldn't give up half of it because it's, it's cool looks. I mean, I could regen and I could save those looks on the common pieces, but that's just, you know, there's no need for that. There shouldn't have to be a need for that. So my alternative would be Maybe make it so it's not a character-specific sacrifice. You don't have to sacrifice Batman gear. So, in exchange, for example, I don't play Deadshot. I can't stand Deadshot. I'm never going to use his epic gear, so I should just sacrifice the Deadshot epic gear. It's kind of like a win-lose, and then you get something, you know, maybe Firestorm, maybe somebody that you don't play. Um, I'm not calling out people's mains, I'm sorry. But um, maybe those gear just kind of act as a supplement for the for whatever gear, Batman, Wonder Woman, Cheetah. I know for Wonder Woman, you have to sacrifice Cheetah gear. Like, what? Like, you're supposed to grind all that time and get all this gear for Wonder Woman that you're going to have lying around after grinding her. Barely any, I should say. Probably about 50 epic gear pieces, realistically, um, from when you start grinding to when you end up, you know, having all the other, uh, the other uh, objectives done. So, I think that's a little silly. I think maybe... That would be a good idea if they don't want to drop the whole epic gear sacrifice thing. I totally understand. I get that that's like a, a, a tough requirement. It's probably the hardest one. Other than time requirements, do just drop the time requirements. I mean, the Wonder Woman ones, like, I, I wasn't even aware of them because Batman didn't have one. That was the only one, like I said, that was the only one I was really looking at. But the Wonder Woman one is insane. That's playtime. That's not like hours of the game being open on your Xbox. You can 
check to see your time played. That's like, that. that is time of your life in a match. That's not counting menu time. That's not counting, you know, anything in between. Um, but, okay, that's, that's the legendary gear. Um, also, another thing is a lot of people wanted it to maybe be gear sets. Um, I think that would be awesome. I think it would be awesome. I think if you give the character leads the creative freedom to do that, I think they would love to do that. I think that they would... Um, I think they would genuinely enjoy having the creative freedom. I know I follow a couple NetherRealm uh, character designers on Instagram. They are super talented and super creative. And if you gave them you know, the option to create a legendary gear set... For a character is to make up their own iconic look for that character, or just you know sourcing it off of other things too. Um, you know, if Batman had his Dark Knight Returns power armor, like I'm sure the grind would be that much more worth it if you got the whole year set. Like that would be insane. And I and I think you know, and that's what I'm gonna get to. All right, so premiere skins um, in the stream. People asked about the mobile stuff and the mobile stuff. Um, being gear sets and DC coming in and having some influence on that. I don't know anything about that, from what, but from what we were told in the stream, here's what we were told in the stream. It, it's kind of hard to answer, but I'll do my best here. Uh, well, the mobile game, doing well, great, great mobile game we have. Yep. Um, like, uh, we'll have like the, the BVS Superman, will we get the Suicide Squad Harley in gear in our game. Now, here's the deal. All the gear is created to fit well together. Yep. So a lot of those pieces of gear would not work in that way. And when, when they're premiere skins, they're different characters. Yep. So Yeah, for that. sure one of the things when, when, when we were designing the game way, you know, way early on was like, we want to make sure that Superman looks like Superman and that all of this, all the gear that he has can fit together and, and not start to look, you know, way weirdly patchworky and stuff, right? right? So, you know, we, we made a conscious decision not to veer too far off into into weird land, right? Unless yeah. you're like Harley or somewhere where it kind of you know, makes sense right. to do that. But um, but yeah, so essentially what you said is, is definitely true. Yeah, you you can't you know you can't have like a Batman Beyond and then like Gaslight Batman and put all those things together because this won't look yeah. right. Or Batman, he's got like a, a tube top or something on, right. and like big armored legs. That'd be super I'm, cool. And I'm, I'm guessing DC would have stopped that in the first place. Probably. But Probably. but that that's the answer to that. But you know there are some you know in the premiere skin we talked about for DLC. There's other things coming, and also we have some other gear coming today as yep. well. Yep. Okay, so. Um, yes, the daddy's little monster shirt on Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad would look a little weird with, like, the jester hat. And, yes, it would look all hodgepodge, and it would look kind of weird. But it would also give us variety. And now I'm not pushing for this. I'm not pushing for it as gear. Because I think, to an extent, it doesn't make sense to put it as gear. What I am pushing for, um, also, on top of Premiere Skins, I wanted to see if NetherRealm would comment on the possibility of other actors coming in to do Premiere Skins that are, like, multiverse-based. Or if that would be a multiverse skin, which I'll introduce in a second here, which is the idea, um, like Stephen Amell or Grant Gustin doing their, their CW characters. Um, so I wanted to talk about multiverse skins because, of, particularly in the Suicide Squad Harley Quinn topic, I know a lot of people who are like, well, it exists. Why isn't it in the game? Um, I think something called multiverse skins, um, that's just what I'm calling them so that people would have something to call them, or classic skins. I'm, I'm sticking with the multiverse because I know Steve's going to love that name. Um, is the lore cop. So, um, I was thinking you could probably price them at like 5,000 crystals each. Um, pretty similar to a premiere skin, but, and it works exactly the same way. You keep your gear underneath it and you put the aesthetic, uh, multiverse skin on top of it. And you just, it, it, it doesn't change any augments. It works exactly like a premiere skin, but the, the face and the dialogue, everything stays the same. So if anything, it's even minimal effort for bigger payoff for another realm. Because I think a majority of people on the subreddit would be more than willing to pay for um, classic skins, to pay for, you know, I, I wrote down a couple of this. This could be a way to implement, you know, classic and elseworld skins into the game without having a hodgepodge gear system that ruins the fluidity of, fluidity of it. And yes, will it, will it decrease to an extent um, the usage of the gear system? Yes, but, I mean, NetherRealm, you already put, you know, Mr. Freeze in over Captain Cold. Why am I going to play Captain Cold? You knew this was going to happen. <laughs> you know, the Premier skins are good. They make you guys money. And also, gear is still cool. I'm, I'm not going to always pick, you know, um, I don't know, Adam West Batman over Co Kevin Conroy Batman. But it would, would it be fun to have, well, I guess they're both Kevin Conroy Batman. Because uh, it's the dialogue and the voices are the same, but I'm not. I'm not always going to pick 
you know, the goofy looking Batman over like the super sick Batman that I've grinded for that gear for, you know, and I, I don't know if that's a problem that they were having, um, but that's just one idea, um, you know, Gotham by Gaslight for Batman, I should, I should stop talking about just Batman, but you know, there's so much more you can do with the CW, all of these characters have potential with the CW, you know, Green Arrow, Flash, Black Canary, um, Firestorm, White Canary from Legends of Tomorrow. Um, you know, I mean, there's so many options uh, to do to do multiverse skits. You know, the Red Sun stuff, the Rebirth stuff, the DCEU stuff that would never work, you know, in, in another capacity. Classic Joker in a tuxedo or with a suit and a tie, you know. Um, there's just so much. The Arkham, Arkham games, everything from the Arkham games. Do literally everything from the Arkham games, please. Everything. All, all of it. Alright, the Arkham Knight Batman, Batman's armor from the Arkham Knight game, Arkham Knight himself from, you know, the game Arkham Knight over Red Hood, you know, I, it would be all amazing, it would be amazing, you know, Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, this is just talking Batman stuff, I, I, I really should veer off and talk more about it, but I really do think that if you put in Flashpoint character skins, you put in, you know, all of these 1970s Batman, stop talking about Batman, jeez, God, it's, I'm stupid, sorry. But this would be also another opportunity to do, you know, like, the orange, uh, kind of armored Aquaman. You know, you would, you would have so much potential there. Just so much potential and so much room to wiggle. And also, people would be able to grind for these with Source Crystals. And I know that's not super realistic because I know you don't earn a lot of Source Crystals before, you know. Like, I've, I've probably made enough to make two Premier Skins throughout the course of the whole thing. But I, I don't mind shelling out three or four dollars for a skin if I really want, you know, I mean, I put in well over, <laughs> I don't even know how many hours, I'll, I'll check in, I'll, I'll check and I'll let you guys know how many hours it was, but, I mean, honestly, it, it's just, I think people are willing to pay, I think people, I think you have an opportunity to make more revenue, and I think if you pitched it to Warner Brothers in that sense, I think, I, I mean, I don't know the inside situation, but I, I don't understand how they would say no. I don't know how DC would look at that and say, oh, yeah, you know, we've already approved you allowing Vixen to be a premier skin for Cheetah, but, you know, it's a little too far if you decide to put, you know, um, what else do I have written down here? Uh, I put down a lot of stuff that won't happen. I mean, let's get weird. Let's... Let's get weird. That's my challenge to Tyler and his team. Let's get weird. Steve knows comics, all right? Pull out Zer and R Batman. I don't know how to pronounce that, but pull it out. You know, make that gear. Make that a make that a multiverse skin. You know, pull out Pirate. I mean, stop talking about Batman. Jesus. Okay, um, pull out literally everything you can think of for this. I mean, everything. Everything. I mean... Pull out no stop. Batman and Robin style. Bane. Poison Ivy. Uh, you know, is it clear that I'm a Batman fan yet? I can't tell. I can't tell if you guys think that. I'm kidding. All of those skins, all of those skins from the mobile game, Last Laugh Joker, you know, that kind of stuff, would be awesome. I think everybody would love it. Um, well, anyway, guys, that's just my pitch um, to Nether Realm. If you stayed through the whole video, thank you very much. Um, I'm not doing this for any kind of views or likes or subscribers and I won't be posting content on this channel. I'm not like a YouTube personality. So don't subscribe because if I subscribe, if you subscribe, then it seems like I'm self-promoting and it's really just because I actually genuinely think that this stuff, I want it to be in the game so badly. I want this stuff to be in the game. So also I should come out front. I'm the guy who has been shit posting and um, about the Green Arrow hood forever. I, I have, like, all of my top-voted posts in r slash injustice are all from it, so, um, that's me, and thank you very much, and I'm sorry if it bothered anybody at Netherrealm to the extent that, that it seemed like it did. I felt super bad if you guys felt bad, but, um, thank you for making it right. Thank you for, you know, deal, putting up with us, dealing with us. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Well, um, I hope that these ideas spread, um, 